But there are other things it can do. You can do events. Now if I choose events, the way this works is quite clever. I'll create another MIDI track over here by right clicking in this vertical track header column. Add MIDI track. I'll grab the pencil tool up here and draw in another part. Okay, now it's still set to use quantize 8, so I'll start the part, say, here, okay, and drag that part out like that. Actually, what I should have done is I should have had this set to grid while I was drawing that. Let me rub that out and do it again so it's exactly um, the length of a whole beat. Now, quantize beat in this case. Okay, I'll grab the little arrow tool, drag that back. Now, okay, so we've got two MIDI parts. This part starts, this part here, oops, sorry. This part here starts at exactly the first beat of bar two. This part here starts at the beginning, uh, sorry, in the middle of beat three of bar one. If I just open this up a bit wider, you can see beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four of this bar. And it's starting at th in the middle of between beat three and beat four, okay? Now the grid up here is set to, let's say it's set to beat, I could move this around and it'll snap to quarter notes, okay? But one thing that's really clever about this is if I set this to events, when I'm dragging a block around, yeah, it can snap to the beginning of this event, yeah? So that's pretty clever. If I drag it away from this part, up like that. It's see how it's free now. It's not snapping to anything. But since I bring it near to another part, I can snap it to the end of that part here, and it and it does snap. You can feel a stickiness there. Or I can drag it forward. Come on, come on, scroll, yeah, and snap it to the beginning of this part. But at all other times, dragging it around, it's free. Yeah. If I set this to um, grid and uh, where are we oh no i'm getting ahead of myself there okay magnetic cursor now this one allows you to snap it to the cursor so if i rewind the cursor a bit some weird position it's not in the, you know look at that one it's 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 not on a bar or beat marker at all a vertical divider and drag this it'll snap to It'll snap to the cursor because this is is set to magnetic cursor, yeah. Okay. Um, at all other times, it's free and it snaps to the cursor. Um, events, like I said, it snaps to the beginning. Or, oh, too far. Or the end of an event, like that. Let me just zoom in uh, out of it so we can see that. Yeah. Okay. It's snapping to the beginning of an event or the end of an event, but otherwise it moves free. Okay, if I set it to magnetic cursor, it'll be free, but it, in, you can drag it around how you like, but it'll snap to the cursor. If I set this to grid and cursor, it'll take, let's say, if this is set to beat, when I'm moving it around, it'll snap to the beat according to whatever is your time signature here, which is quarter notes. See, snap to beat, snap to beat, snap to beat but it'll also snap to that cursor so it'll snap to the cursor if you bring it up to the cursor but at all other times it snaps to the beat resolution yeah uh, if I change this beat to use quantize and set it to sixteenths right but this is still set to grid and cursor then it'll when I'm moving it around I can snap it to sixteenths here yeah but it'll snap to that grid, uh, to that cursor, yeah? Or, if I set it to events and cursor, yeah, then it, it's free, it's moving around freely, I can, but I can snap it to the rear of another part that's adjacent to it. I can snap it to the cursor, yeah, well, let me just move that cursor down here a bit. Or I can snap it to the beginning of the next adjacent part. Okay, so it'll snap to the cursor, or to the front or the back of an adjacent MIDI part. That is when it's set to events and cursor. If I set it to events, grid and cursor, this gives me the full gamut. I can drag it around and it snaps to the resolution that's used up here. In this case, let's say bar. It's moving it 
uh, hold bar at a time. But it'll snap to the cursor like that, or it'll snap to the end of this part, or the beginning of this adjacent part, but at all other times it moves in bar blocks. If I change this to use quantize and set this to eights, it'll move in eights like that. Eight, 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 eight. But it'll also snap to the rear of this part. It'll also snap to the cursor. And it'll also snap to the front of this. Okay. So that's how this whole snap section works up here. If I turn the snap off, oh, then my part is just free to be moved around how I like, and it doesn't glue itself to anything. Yeah. Uh, set the snap back on and I'm back to snap into whatever the setting is here. Shuffle, to be honest, I'm not really sure what that does yet. <laughs> Never used it, I'll have to look that one up, but I haven't, yeah, as you can see, it's a bit of an odd one this. I haven't seen a practical application for this yet, but if you want to find out what it is, use the uh, manual. It's something I've never found a use for, I've never had to look to see what it means actually. But I'm not a great SX user, I don't use it all the time. So for basic work, leave it set to grid and adjust the snap by using it, the quantize up here, either bars, beats, or use the quantize here. Yeah. Um, for work where you've got parts that start in odd places off the beat and things and you want to be able to snap things to it or you're hitting play like this and you're listening and at the moment that something you want to drop in, you hit stop. You can then drag this MIDI part and, oops, hang on, I set this to uh, magnetic cursor. I can drag that and start it exactly where the cursor is. At the moment I hear where it has to come in, I can go <coughs> hit stop like that. Let's, let's run the cursor back a bit. Whoops, other way. So, where that's useful is, for example, I'm listening to the song and the drum roll's coming, did, 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 and that's where I want this part to come in. I can just drag it like that and it'll snap to the cursor because it's set on magnetic cursor. So that's how your grid and your snap all work. And I hope that's useful. You tend to leave it in grid when you're working because that's like, you know, the basic one. But as I say, bear in mind those other things that can be used here. Magnetic cursor, events and the combinations. Grid and cursor, event and cursor and the third one which is all of them. Uh, event grid and cursor and that's how you use the uh, the snap area on here oh and it works for dragging uh, length as well you know like at the moment it's set to grid so I'm using the quantize of eight so it's dragging backs and forwards in eights as described but if I set this to magnetic cursor I can drag that and it'll snap to the cursor otherwise it's free yeah I can drag the beginning to the cursor and it locks to the cursor like that if I set it to events, again it's free, but it will snap to the front of the next adjacent part and the rear will snap to the rear of the next adjacent part, etc. And if I set this to um, events and cursor, it will snap to the rear of that event or to the cursor. Or if I drag that up, yeah, I can snap that to the beginning of the next adjacent part or I can snap it to the beginning where the cursor is or the other way around. It's, it's free apart from that. I can drag it, you know, there's no snap. I can drag the back to the cursor or to the to lock to the back of this adjacent part because I'm in event and cursor. And with all three, event grid and cursor, um, it's in eighths, so it's snapping to eighths like that. But it'll also snap to the next adjacent part. It'll also snap to cursor. Otherwise, eighths, 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 and it's snap. But it'll snap to that. Yeah. Or let me drag this back here. Yeah, you can snap it to the cursor of the front of it, snap it to the end of this part, next adjacent part, and that's with it set to event grid and cursor. Okay.